I have a confession. So I have really sensitive skin and, um, because of that sensitive skin, especially after you like shave your armpits, cause I'm not an esthetician. I haven't waxed every hair off my body yet. So I'm still shaving like a loser. I know, whatever. Um, so after you shave and you want to put on natural deodorant, it's like putting napalm under your arms and you get a rash every time. So I found this deodorant that is baking soda free, sensitive skin. Um, and it doesn't work y'all. <laughs> I'm here by myself, and I was he told Dylan, I was like, oh, I got to go put some new deodorant on because, like, I fucking stink. <laughs> and then I did what apparently you're not supposed to do. I just put fresh deodorant on top. I didn't want – I just – I piled more on. And actually, it's a – it's not too bad. Not too bad. No, Be no. grateful this is not a smell of vision experience, but um, it wasn't too bad. So this is literally – I told Alex that she has many – she has many, like, dude – like things in her life that she does. <laughs> and this is one of them where she's just like, oh, mm, I'm smelly. I'm just going to stick some more deodorant on top of that instead of just cleaning my base. No, actually, okay, I did it. It's so gross. This is totally a confession. Um, I had a, a washcloth that I, I did that and I would use it for like, you know, one or two days and then put it in the wash but like mm-hmm. I forgot about it and it was just hanging on our shower and for like three days both of us we didn't say anything to the other one because we didn't know it was like you're like is it me who smells we're like oh, damn <laughs> the whole bathroom smells like armpit this is so gross oh, God. and then I realized I was like oh shit it's this washcloth <laughs> and then you set the washcloth on fire <laughs> yeah I threw it into the bottom of the hamper and then washed it in like bleach basically Ah, these are true confessions, everyone. I hope that you I hope you respect them for what they are. And I'm a filthy animal. This is also, what it comes send, down to. send in your tips for helping people who please, like natural deodorant please. and are super stinky because yes. Alex Alex has this problem. Yes. Yeah. Crazy sensitive, but smell like a bear. <laughs> yep. And still shave because I haven't waxed or lasered. This is really the biggest issue. Every association sitting out there is like, if you just get rid of the hair, you won't have this problem anymore. I mean, I we don't really have this problem because we have no hair left. Yeah, I know. Well, see, my problem is I'm like, I'd want to DIY it. And I don't remember we saw that laser online and we were both convinced that it's just like going to burn your corneas or your retinas or pretty all sure, of the above. I'm pretty sure those people are just going to be blind in a year. Oh, so awful. Oh, God. So, yeah, please do. Tips appreciated. All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Sybil Solon. I'm an esthetician and spa owner. And hi, I'm Alex Ellis. I'm a body nerd and wellness expert, and we are business besties. And bosses. Running your own business, it's hard. But we're terrible employees, so we're figuring it out. Um, I've already figured it all out, but we promise to share everything we know about what it takes to make six figures and beyond. And be brutally honest about what works and what totally sucks. A bunch of it totally sucks. But yep. <laughs> let's get started. Yes. Welcome back to Skin Fashional on today's show. We're talking about vacay um, and how, yes, it's something very exciting. Um, and how to set you and your clients up for vacation success. And how not to lose money or clients while having fun. Mm, that's a dream, right? To be sitting on a beach with a margarita mm-hmm. and a taco and still getting those notifications that money or- is coming in. Or like me, most times just sitting in bundled up in warm clothes in winter somewhere, because that's actually when vacation <laughs> often happens, which you're all about to find out. Yes. Although, yeah, you could go to a summer place, but no, this is all true. So we were talking about, you know, what do we want to talk about today? And Sybil said vacation. And I was like, I'm sorry, uh, right. planning what for what? Huh? Well, we did talk about it a little bit last <laughs> last week. And I was like, you know, we should talk about planning vacations. Yeah. So if you're like, haven't thought about this, this is groundbreaking. Tell me more. You and me both. So Sybil, please teach us about how to take vacations. <laughs> like, where do we even so, start? I Well, the first thing I always tell people who want to plan vacation is that you need to, as an esthetician, as a solo business owner, you need to decide, I believe at the beginning of when you start your own business, how much vacation do you want to take a year? And this can sound really scary because especially in the regular business world, you think, oh, I get two weeks, right? I take six to eight weeks of vacation a year. 
And I know people are like, that's crazy. And I'm like, but it's what I've discovered I need because I work crazy hours all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's what you actually deserve. Amen to that. I mean, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Because also we work, all of us solo entrepreneurs, like 16 hours a day. You go to sleep thinking about your business. You wake Mm -hmm. up thinking about your, sleeping about your business, thinking about your business. You think about it on holidays, on the weekends. Like you really are working all the time. Yes. Yes. So you need to actually have more vacation than maybe other people do. But if you think about other countries, they get a standard, Mm -hmm. usually 30 days and then more. So they're like, we get 30 days and then we have like sick time and family time and whatever. So they get often two months as well. So for us to say, oh, that's, that's too much vacation. Is it though? Is it? Right. (laughs) Right. The hardest thing when we start thinking about that, that we are paid for our time is, you know, we're like, well, if I'm not working in studio, then I'm not making money. So that time Mm -hmm. on vacation, I'm, I'm broke. I'm super broke. I'm paying for a vacation and then I have no money. Okay. So This is why we plan. This is why you need to plan for your vacation because like we said at the very beginning of the show, how to not lose money or clients and to have the fun. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about decide how much vacation you want and stick with it. And you can start when you first start with less vacation and just like you would have any job, build up your business and your practice and then build up your vacation. So when I first started my, my business, I started with four weeks. By three years, I was in six to eight weeks. Simple as that. Oh, wow. Okay. Can I just, the first thing is I'm hearing you talk is I think of the times where I've let my clients know I'm going to be gone this weekend. You know, Mm -hmm. I set everything up ahead of time and then I still feel guilty about not checking in. So how did you kind of like work around that? So you need, in my opinion, you need to plan your vacations well in advance and you need to let them know far in advance. They're still going to forget. It's just going to happen. They're going to forget. But I plan my vacations a year to two years in advance. So way in advance. Now, remember that part of the fun of planning of of vacationing is planning that Mm -hmm. vacation. Right. So if you can try to plan it out in advance. Now, if you need to have like a little weekend here and there where you're like, I just decided my girlfriend said it for a trip, whatever you can, but as solopreneurs, it is harder. We can't just Mm -hmm. like up and leave, but if you can plan it out and then set boundaries and rules for yourself and decide for yourself what your rules are. So for me, I know that I tell my clients, I will be answering emails in the morning and the evening or like, you know, a couple hours and that's it. And then I sent my, my email and to auto send them, hi, I'm on vacation. Remember, <laughs> I'll get back to you when I can. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. And I, for myself, I don't feel guilty, but I feel like things are getting away from me and my business when Mm -hmm. I'm not checking in. Yeah. So I I do feel like I, it's very rare that I cannot, where I can completely check out, but some people can completely do that. And you know, I'm so proud of everyone who can. (laughs) Seriously. It's not something I feel comfortable doing. No. Okay. So that also though, makes me feel better of like, yeah, like you're still gonna be thinking about your business, but like, just like you're saying, plan ahead of time. And so not only you, but the person you're traveling with is like, okay, this is the expectation. Like morning, yeah. I'm going to need to check emails just to be on top of everything. And like, yeah. don't freak out. Yeah. And it's just like, I have that time frame. Like, so I'm just like, Hey, in the morning I wake up and I do, whereas usually in the morning I don't check any email and I have that right. personal time on vacation. It switches for me. Whereas that personal time would be like, now I check my emails. And then the rest of the day, it's all mine. And then in the evening, which would be my personal time where I'm like, okay, now I'm shutting down and that's it. I spend an hour just kind of like checking in with everybody, making sure everybody's okay. And then I, I, I know back to my life again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That totally makes sense. Now, what about like the timing of your vacations? So I said like, oh, the middle of the summer. Although I think Mexico is yeah. too hot in the summer. So I don't know yeah. about that. <laughs> so you know, I have, I have inherently taken some vacation in August, which by the way, is the hardest time for my business to go on vacation. I've done it because I cruise and some good cruises happen in August. Um, vacations inherently I find work the best when you are slowest in business, when you're not making money anyways, you might as well go on vacation. Yeah. So look at your numbers and say, I'm not making money anyways. I might as well just shut down. And just mm-hmm. go have fun somewhere. For me, it's January and April. Mm-hmm. So those are my dead times. When are your dead times? You know. Also remember that 
you work when other people don't. So we are like, if you do a lot of waxing, people want to see you in the summer. Mm -hmm. When I stopped doing waxing, people didn't care as much because they're, they're doing facials. The summer I slowed down a little bit because people are doing, especially that August month, people are like, this is my last hurrah for summer. And I had a lot of cancellations. And so it didn't matter quite as much. So I could start vacationing in August. Mm -hmm. So find for, find for you the numbers that work. And if you really want to go on a vacation at a time where you're going to make, like you inherently make a lot of money, just know that that's a choice you're making. <laughs> These are choices. That's it's true. your business. Yeah. 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 Well, and actually I think it's better to be traveling on off time, so to speak. Yeah. Um, I know Sh my mom. Shoulder, shoulder season. Shoulder season. Oh, is that what it's called? It's in called the, shoulder season. So it's off season is like complete dead of winter. And then shoulder season is kind of like the like everybody's kind of like going away and they're not really going right. anywhere, but it's still, the weather's still okay. Okay. So I taught a course, so it was like work, but I added on extra time um, in Florida in January. And my mom came and we spent four days at Disney World. January is like the only month of the year that's dead at Disney World because it's before mm -hmm. spring break. It's after the holidays. There was no lines and it was amazing. So personally, yeah. I would prefer to go on off times when you're not having to deal with like school families and stuff. Sorry. I said you can it. also <laughs> get really good deals. You can get really good deals. Yeah. I've gotten really yeah. used to, to, to traveling then, but it, it's, it's a give and take. So choose yeah. your, choose your own adventure, choose your choices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does bring up the fact of, you know, when you're planning that, you need to plan beforehand and afterhand for your clientele. Right. So, yeah, what does that look like for you for the pre-vacation pre time with your clients? Yeah. Your, your pre and post, your pre and post vacationing. Mm -hmm. So for me, it looks like I wish I was dead. <laughs> and I work, I work a million hours. In fact, I have actually learned that I have to be really mindful because I become a fucking super bitch. <laughs> and I have snapped at clients before and I'm like, whoa, I have to, I have to be much more careful because I already work a million hours. So right. to try to smash people into already working a million hours becomes untenable. It becomes mm -hmm. an untenable situation. Mm -hmm. So what will happen is, you know, that you have to take all the clients that you're usually jamming into those spots and find places for them beforehand and find places for them after. Mm-hmm. If you decide that that is something that you can't do, you make the decision that some of those clients are, you're just not going to see. Mm -hmm. And if you actually have a better way than I have to do this, please tell me. Mm. For me, what I do is I, I tell everybody in advance and then I put up my schedule and I kind of sit back and I'm like, this month is prepaid and you prepay for a slot. And if you have to cancel, too bad, so sad. Right. Is did you do prepaid? Because I know you're doing prepaid now with your I travel. For, I always did it for then, anyways. Oh. Because it made it forced people to be real about before my schedule, before my before then. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. people would pre-book into it, and then they'd be like, "Yeah, Flake. I kind of have to." I'm like, "I will kill you. I mm -hmm. can't reschedule you." And these appoint appointments are so valuable right now. Mm -hmm. So. I really, I started my last three years in business. I started making people prepay for any of my, like the month before vacation and the, the month after vacation, I made people prepay for those appointments. Mm -hmm. And that was just something I did. And it, it self weaned the people who cared and the people who didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did you have people like before you go on vacation, are you having them book their follow-up for when you return already? Yes. I, I always had my people pre pre and post. I always had those pre done before and after vacation. Most of my clients are booked three months at three to four months in advance anyways. So it just continued. Uh, the people who care the most though are people who are waxing. So your hair removal clients care. The hair removal clients care the most because that cycle is important. Facial clients, it matters to them if they're doing an, a special event, if something's important or if they're on some kind of cycle where they're like an acne client or they're doing some kind of series, the other people you'll find, they'll kind of be like, it'll be okay. I'll wait. It's fine. And so you, you will look at your book and be like, okay, I'm gonna let you wait that six weeks. It's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can decide what you need to do for your clientele. Mm -hmm. You mean it's my business. I can do what I want. 
and and your clients will also help you. Um, right. I also found that I could would slip in shorter shorter facials. So my very last year in business, I tested something where I I started having like shorter mini packages, or I called them the pre vacation package. And I'm like, I don't have as much time. If you would, you know, I have this 30 minute facial, and that way I could get more people in. Hmm. Now. The one backfire about that is that people were like, I really, really liked that mini package. It was really right. good. It was cheap. Really, yeah, it was cheap and good mm-hmm. and fast. Mm-hmm. You, you have those again? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was the stressor of that particular trial that I did. <laughs> You're like, works great. Never doing that again. <laughs> May, I mean, I, I might have done it again, but I will be honest with you. That was the hardship with that particular. I might have charged a little bit more for it. Mm-mm. That so makes sense. Get a little bit more of a pain point, but still get it in. Yeah. Maybe like add product to it or something. I don't know. I'd play around with it, but it's an idea. What if you also like it was the mini facial and then the, they got like a take home facial to do for themselves? It, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. So, like I said, yeah. so these are like this one. I was a year before I had to shut down my business. So I usually I bring these ideas up and I'm like, I got this nailed down. This is what I did. I don't have this one nailed down yet. If you all go out and try it, you let me know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so, that's a great idea. Bring home like a take home <laughs> facial. If you were going on vacation, well, this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but you had, I know you have a schedule now cause you're seeing people in town and out of town, but like, let's yeah. say you were like twice as busy as you are. So things are packed. Yeah. Like what would the lead time look like for this vacation? What would you do preparing? Like walk I, us through it. I prepare. Okay. So I prepare people. As soon as I know I'm going on a vacation, I actually start silent. I kind of start talking about it. I just booked this vacation for 2022. Mm-hmm. I would start talking about it as soon as I book it mm. as six months out. I really start talking about it. I'm like, do you, do you have any special events or anything coming up? Do you know what's in your schedule? Um, I just want to know because I have a vacation coming up and I, and I kind of want to work backwards and I actually schedule people backwards from my vacation. Mm. And I ask them if they have special events or anything important coming up because I want to make sure somebody will be like, Oh, you know, I have a wedding or I have, I'm going on vacation and I want to make sure I look good for this event. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, let me see if we can get, I want to have, make sure that appointment is on the book mm-hmm. and it's in like solid gold on my book. Mm-hmm. And they're like, Oh, okay. And that way it also helps me to know when I'm planning additional vacations, what's happening in my schedule so that I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to book something around this because like I will jack up this person's life. Right, 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 right. And if I don't care about this person's life, I don't care. <laughs> so six months out, you're talking about it. You're having people work back. Um, as you're getting closer and closer to the date, like, does mm-hmm. anything change? Yeah, as I get closer and closer to the date, I make sure that I talk to people. I remind them, hey, remember, I have a vacation coming up. I'm planning things for it. I talk about what I've planned. What happened? Is I have this thing. I just started booking my hotel. And then I drop, if you have a newsletter, I drop in the newsletter what I'm doing. I then the the month before their the month before vacation, I look them in the eyes and I'm like, remember that next month is the month before my vacation. You cannot miss your appointment. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I need you to repeat back to me that it's you cannot miss this appointment. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay. I'm like, no, repeat back. You can't miss this appointment. They've prepaid for this appointment, right? Oh, this is the point where they're like, I can't miss the appointment. And I'm like, I need you to prepay for this appointment. So they've mm-hmm. booked it, but at this point they prepay for it. Okay. So the so month like before month they prepay for it. I'm like, so I need you to prepay for this appointment now. And they're like, um, and I'm like, if you'd like to keep this appointment, I need you to prepay for it now. <laughs> I have a wait list of like 50 people. I need you to prepay for it to hold the spot. If you don't need it, that's fine. Somebody else is happy yeah. to take it. Yeah. Okay. Can we just like pause for a moment at how direct and clear language you're using and how clear is kind? I think that's like a Brene Brown thing or something. Yeah. When it comes to like money and asking for money, because I found myself doing this today too, of Mm. just like, oh, well, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like, no, just like put it out there. Yeah. And leave it. It, Just absolutely correct. And I make sure I look them in the face and, and then I always tell them it, I always say it's okay if you don't, if you don't, you know, you can't pay for it or you don't want this appointment. I always tell them it's okay. Mm-hmm. Somebody else is happy to have it and that's fine. I'll be here. Yeah. I'll be here again. Just this appointment is really valuable to somebody. Right. And, and then they, they you know, if they get weird at all, you know, cause sometimes people are like, sometimes we're like, oh, great. I'll pay. But if they hesitate, 
that hesitation means they don't really know if they want this appointment. Mm-hmm. And that's when you, that's when you just lean in like, I'm happy to have this. We're just going to take you off the book. We're going to give this appointment to somebody else. It's great. How does that sound? How does that sound? Give them the opportunity to be like, you know what? I I think that that is probably better because what they're actually saying is they don't know if they can like make that appointment in their schedule. Mm -hmm. They're not saying they don't love you. They're not saying any of those things. It's a matter of they know themselves and they don't know. They know that they're not hundred percent sure that they can pay for it right now. They don't know if they can make it to that appointment, whatever. That's fine. You do have a million people who want that appointment. It's fine. Right. Right. And then you're like, I love you. It's fine. I'm just thinking though of people who make appointments who aren't going to make their appointments. Like that's not me at all. So I'm like, what is this alien? I don't understand. Well, I always rebook. So like, you know, and I can be very strong minded and strong willed. So people don't like to say no to me. And so like when I just sit in a room and I'm like, so let's get you booked for your next appointment. And people are like, okay. And then they'll be like, oh, I didn't know how to say no. I'm like, okay, well, I mean, it's not like I felt like I forced you, but I was like, let's just get you booked for your next appointment. They weren't like, I don't want to right now. (laughs) Right. They're like, well, actually, that's so funny. That's so funny. Because I do. I just like, let's get you, when people end their appointment, I'm like, okay, let's get you scheduled for your next appointment. Right. That's what I say. And they're like, okay. (laughs) So you've, they've pre-booked, they've prepaid, you get through that month, you go on vacation, you're checking Mm -hmm. emails and checking in per what you have already decided ahead of time and communicated to them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And then what does it look like when you get back? So one more second. So when they see me for their next appointment, mm-hmm. all right. So they see me for that next appointment. This is pre-vacation. I, pre-paid. This is a pre-vacation appointment. I'm like, mm-hmm. how was this appointment? Did you have a great time? I'm so glad we got to see you. I'm like, so just so you know, this next appointment we have on the book, here's the time it is. Um, just like this appointment, I need you to prepay for this one too, because it's also very valuable. And then I'll be like, how does that sound? Mm-hmm. And if they were okay with the first one, they're usually okay with this one. But sometimes they're like, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Or I just had this one. Maybe I'll just wait. And you're like, that's great. I still have that giant wait list. <laughs> Somebody is going to be so happy to take your spot. You're mm-hmm. doing them a service. Thank you. Right. right. You're so kind. <laughs> at that point, I always say, anytime I'm like, thank you so much. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll miss you. But, you know, they'll be happy. Yeah. And then... I get them booked and paid and then they're out the door. So the other thing, wait, the other thing I make sure they do I have is I make yeah. sure that they buy their product. Ah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I make sure they buy the product. I almost forgot to say that. I make sure they buy the product. Cause it's really important at that point, at that point that they buy their product. And that's if they didn't rebook for the last appointment, I make sure they buy the product. Do you have any product? I need to make sure you buy your product. I'm not going to be here to sell you product. Right. <laughs> I'm going to send Alex to open the spa so that he can get your product. Cause you didn't plan ahead. <laughs> I also drop emails. I also drop emails. Remember everyone. And the email says nothing else in it. Remember I'm going on vacation. So this is four, this is four weeks out from the last, from before I go on vacation. Remember everyone, I'm going on vacation. I will not be sending out product for this amount of days. Double check your product. You will be screwed. <laughs> I literally say that you will be screwed. I mean, the postal, the postal service screwed me this week too. Yes. So. I like I I'm like I cannot send product. I'm so sorry. You will be screwed. You will be out. I will of be product. on a boat in Tahiti. Yeah, I don't okay, undersell so it. We have our product. They have pre-booked. They've done all of that. What is your follow-up like after you get back from vacation for mm. people who did not pre-book in that time? So if they haven't pre-booked, and I don't see them, I usually give them one more month. If I haven't, if they didn't let me pre-book, I usually give them one more month to like kind of reach out to me because I send something like, Hey, here's my vacation. I had a really good time. I have auto emails that go out to people being like, Hey, it's been like three months. Where are you? Hello. Mm, um, from and the then last after that, I usually, yeah. After the, after mm-hmm. the last appointment, that three month email goes out like, hello, where are you? Hello. Um, after that, oh. I'll reach out to the people that, you know, I haven't seen. I'll just reach out. And it's usually actually a phone call because I'm still a phone caller. And I call people. Interesting. I'll be honest with you. I only call the people that I miss. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just like that person is attrition and they were supposed to be attrition. Yeah. Right? So call the people you miss. The other people will eventually come back to you anyways. And you have, have auto emails that go out. 
And if you don't, please send out the emails to the people who are not haven't come in in three months. Run the report and send out the email. Send it out or sign up for an email service that will do this for you. Although that also should just be part of your admin days of like follow up emails. I mean, that's part of how you make money. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I do have a church. And so follow up emails for me is I send out an email in three, in three, in a uh, three months. That's like, um, Hey, it's been a little while. And then I do wait six weeks. Hey, you might've missed an appointment. Hello. Three months. Hi, I haven't seen you in a while. Six, six months. Are you, it literally says like, are you dead? Hey, I miss you. <laughs> and then it's, <laughs> and then Awkward. it's a year and then it's a year and it's like, hello, it's me. It's an, it's a, it says, hello, it's me and, and other Adele lyrics. <laughs> That's I think I says. use that title too in some capacity. <laughs> yeah. and, and it says, I, I've missed, I've missed you a lot. I, you know, most people send out a coupon. I don't, but I, I want to see you. And if you don't want to see me ever again, I understand. Or if you've moved, here's a survey. Please let me, please anonymously let me know what's going on. Yeah. Like it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I feel like we've covered, I mean, pretty much a whole vacation plan. I'm realizing yeah. so many ways in which I can like beef up my vacation planning. Is there mm-hmm. any like last things about vacation that you're like, Oh, definitely don't forget this. Yeah. So when you're, when you're, prepping your pre- prepping for vacation give somebody you know a set of keys for your place thank you alex <laughs> because <laughs> something might go on if you're going away for more than a week have that person go by and just check your office um i've mm-hmm. had i've had weird shit go down in my office and you'll come back to go to work and you're like why is my room filled with crickets why was there a <laughs> flood how come somebody broke in like, oh, right. So my yeah. wax pot set on fire. Thank God that hasn't been me, but my wax pot set on fire. By the way, turn off your wax pot while you're gone. Please or unplug at least everything, it. you guys. Unplug everything. <laughs> Just turn it way down at least, something. Unplug um, it. Any, anything that's really expensive, you might want to move. You might want to like move it somewhere um, that's a little more safe. Don't leave cash. Don't leave cash no. in your in your business. You know, just think about things that could happen to the space while you're gone if somebody's not there to look into it. But if you have somebody who comes by and looks, that helps. You're just like, oh, somebody's stopping by once a week or every three days or something to take a look. Um, I leave a light on just to make it look like some something's there, you know, mm-hmm. a little light on. And have somebody pick up your mail if that's a problem. You know, things that you would do regularly on a vacation. Like your spa mm-hmm. is a home. It's your mm-hmm. home. It's your second home. Mm-hmm. Treat it like a second home. Um, plants things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And alert your property manager as well, because I've Mm. forgotten that many times and they'll be like, uh, we need to do maintenance. Can we get in the building? And I'm like, I mean, you can't get in my building right now. I'm not there. (laughs) So I'm gone for three weeks. Good luck. Godspeed. Godspeed. (laughs) So so sorry. (laughs) Okay. I mean, that's all great tips I hadn't even thought about. So definitely, I mean, seriously, you should go back and listen to this episode and like take the notes and put the stuff into play because I think the more direct and clear and communicative we are about what we're doing and what we're planning, the less drama there is around it. Um, and the goal here is not to work 24 seven. The goal yes. is to have a business that fuels your life and allows you to live this rich life, your best life, um, that fuels your passions. Yeah. Take the vacations guys, take the vacations. You deserve them. Mm-hmm. And so Alex, I'm going to ask you, when are you going to go on a vacation? How are you going to plan your first vacation? Oh my gosh. Um, whew. well, I have like a weekend away soon, I think. <laughs> um, I am going on vacation in October. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to plan ahead. And also one thing I started doing as well is, is taking, I'm going to take like two weeks off at Christmas this year, I think. Um, and I told my clients about it in the last year, like this is what's happening. And then when I checked in with the group inside our membership, they're like, I thought you were on vacation. And I was like, I am, I just have really bad boundaries. (laughs) Also that you can say, Hey, just, you know, I'm going to take vacation, but I'd like to make sure I check in because I miss you all like one or two times. And these are the times. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. That's a great point. It's still, it's it's still your business. You're allowed to check in. If it, if anything that makes you stressed on your vacation stops you from having a good time on vacation. Yeah. And also I don't think our clients expect us to be working 365. Like that's not realistic. I mean, they don't, but like kind of do. So they they don't think about it. They expect us to be working whenever they call us, but right. right. 
Right. No, you're just sitting around drinking my ties. That's right. So they do love to see you having a good time. Yes. So make sure as you long have as fun their stories. needs are met first. That's right. <laughs> So show it on social, make sure that they know you're having a good time because they want to know you're having a good time. Your clients want you to be having a good time. It's very true. Very, they very love true. you too. All right. Where can they find us, Alex? Well, we want to know about your vacation stories too. And like what you're doing. Are you like me? And you're like, what plan for vacation? I don't know. Or are you like Sybil where you're planning three years in advance so that no one loses their marbles when you <laughs> leave the office? Like hit us up on social. You can find the show at Skin Fessional. You can find Sybil at Your Skin Fitness Expert. By the way, I gave you a shout out on Facebook yesterday. Thank in you. A business or in a Facebook group. Um, or uh, you can find me at Hala for Mala. Um, or also, if you're like Sybil and you like to talk on the phone, you can leave us a voicemail um, in our box, the Skin Professional that's, Box. That's right. It's 818 473 5277. So, everyone, until next week, keep your secrets to yourself. Unless you're telling us. Okay, okay bye. Bye. <laughs>